Hello East Brunswick, this is Mr. Tippin. Today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about adding when you have multiple add-ins. And to do that, we're gonna take a quick trip to a local shop. Normally, it's a coffee shop, but in this important time, they're selling things like fruits and vegetables and milk, all things my family needs. All right, let's go. That's Mr. Ben. All right, that's the end of my trip. Now it's time for me to head inside, wash my hands for at least 20 seconds, and then I'll get right back with you. All right, my hands are washed, and now it's time to see what kind of fruit we got in our order today. Let's take a look. Now, before I went on this trip, I had one big question in mind that I needed to answer. And that question was, how much money do I need to take in order to pay for my food? Now, the first thing that I thought about was, what operation will I use here? Am I going to need to subtract or will I need to add? I was thinking I probably need to add because I'm trying to think what is the total amount of all of these food items put together. So when I thought about that, I, I wrote out a quick number sentence. And this is the number sentence I came up with. Five plus four plus six plus five. Five dollars for the grapes, four dollars for the melons, six dollars for the apples, and five dollars for the milk. Now if I could find a way to put those all together, that will tell me how much money I need to take with me to the store. I don't know about you, but for me, I can really only think about two add-ins at one time. Thinking about all four all at once, it's not something that I'm very comfortable with. But here's what I noticed. I can make combinations. And using those combinations, I can then add those together to get a final sum. Let me show you what I mean. So the first thing I noticed when I was thinking about combinations was that there are two fives. And I know something special about fives. I know that I have five fingers on this hand and five fingers on this hand. And so five and five makes 10. So now I've already added the two fives. The only thing that's left is six and four. And maybe you see something with six and four right away, and maybe you don't. For me, I'm thinking about six, and then I'm gonna count four more. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. This four and six together make 10. And what's great about this is now I have two new add-ins. My five and five made 10. The four and six also made 10. This is pretty comfortable for me. I have two add-ins. I have a 10 and another 10. And I remember counting by tens, 10, 20. So what question did this answer? Let's go back. How much money do I need to take in order to pay for my food? Ah, right. So what unit do I want to use here? 20 what? 20 grapes? No. 20 apples? No. Here, let me look over here again. Uh, where, the five was five dollars, four dollars, six dollars, five dollars. I think my unit will be twenty dollars. Yes! In this case, I was able to think about how much money I would need by finding combinations. Five and five made ten, four and six made ten, and then I could add those pieces together. Now we have the food in our house and we were trying to think of ways that we can make our meals interesting. We had a few ideas as to what we might do. We, we might just eat them as, as regular fruit. Perhaps we grab an apple for a snack. We might make a smoothie out of them, combine them all together and do a blender. And as we were thinking about those things, I got to thinking, what would it cost to get brand new items to help us make these kinds of meals? How much would it cost to buy things like a fork and a spoon or a blender, a bowl or a cup? And so this is what I was thinking. Now, the first thing I thought about when I thought about how much this would cost altogether was to write a number model. 9 plus 11 plus 12 plus 43. When I was looking at this number model, I noticed there are four add-ins again. But you know what? I see something here. Maybe you see it too. I see 9 and 11. Well, when I'm thinking about 9 and 11, I notice that there's a 1 here and a 9 here. Well, I know 1 and 9 makes 10, and then I have another 10. So 9 and 11 makes 20. Well, I also notice this 12 and 43. Well, I know that the 2 and 3 can make 5, so that would be 5 1s. And the 1 10 and the 4 10s make 5 10s, so that would be 55. 
Okay, I can do 20 plus 55. 55, and I'm going to count up 10 more, two times. 55, 65, 75 dollars. Okay, that's one way to think about this, but I think there's another way. I decided that I could take my numbers and put them all together in one number model like this. And here, I can think about the different places that these numbers are in. This column is in the ones place, and this column of numbers is in the tens. So now, I could think about these numbers in terms of tens and ones. So let's look at how many tens I have. I'm looking over here in this left column, and here I see I have six tens. Four plus one plus one is six. And I know that six tens is the same as 60. Now I'm going to look at the ones. 9 and 1, that makes 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 ones, which is the same as 1, 10, and 5 ones. Now I can add these numbers together as well. I have 0 ones and 5 ones, so that comes out to 5 ones. 6 tens and 1 ten comes to 75. So both ways show that the total for all of these items comes to $75. I had such a fun time working with you this week. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, happy adding. Oh, gosh. Alrighty. Have no, it's not now. <laughs>